so we are Ooh, we get some AC, driving around oh, to try and talk about our 10 year anniversary of Good Company because it's been 10 years since it came out. So congratulations everyone. Yeah, 10 years hell yeah. of Good Company. First full length That's down. crazy. That's, crazy. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> We are just outside Soul Sound Studios, which is that little building over there. You know, there's a dance studio in the front, which is where all those kids are coming from, and a music studio in the back. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. I was set up around here. I think, yeah, Danny and Scott were kind of in this area, right? And then Nate, for the most part, was in the control room with Orion. For all the magic happens. We are currently at Soul Sound Studio in Regina, Saskatchewan. We recorded Good Company. We recorded The Ocean Went Mad and We Were to Blame. And a couple other things here and there. Like yeah, we did. We did uh, some of those, a couple ones. Yeah, yeah. And we're uh, we're talking about the ten year anniversary of Good Company. That is right around now. It's been ten years. We are getting old. <laughs> oh boys, it's just, I can't believe it's ten years. When you guys came in, we approached it like I said. It was pretty live. Yeah. And then all the stuff was done pretty natural. Everything was fairly natural sounding. And I basically just captured the band like it was. The ocean went mad and we were to blame. Um, that one. Some of the songs got a little more complex and the production got a little more complex. So it was still like capturing the raw energy of it. And I think a lot of that translated on the records. And a lot of that was why um, people enjoyed it is because that's what they enjoy when they see you live. And that was kind of there in the recording. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Really, it's about spatial qualities. So... I mean, the song, a mix has to convey emotions by combining basically the different parts and frequency balance into something that hits you in a certain way and makes you feel something. And for these songs, what was a little bit challenging on some of them is I didn't always have separate parts. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, I recorded a lot of uh, the vocals and guitars together as a performance, like strumming the guitar and singing at the same time. And that led to really like sort of just playing it the way it was played for real right which is good because uh, there's a lot of interaction generally with singer songwriters between the rhythm of their playing and the, their singing especially if they're playing and singing at the same time right this is the piece of history that we need confirmed galen claims that he named he named the, the band, band. band. Yeah. he did, he did yeah. so we have a confirmed <laughs> we have G a named confirmed. The and so. I, have, I have always <laughs> said that yeah galen's okay always, he's always like He's like, man, people don't believe me. People don't believe me. And I'm like, Dude, oh, we here it is. We're setting the record straight right, right now. Yeah. No, we always won't. give you the props. <laughs> We've always said that. I, I say that all the time. Oh, we were jamming in the basement, and he just stopped mid-song. And he's like, guys, how about the Dead Souths? <laughs> oh, the Souths! I remember the Dead that. Souths. We're like, yeah, that's kind of cool, <laughs> man. It kind of fits the genre a little bit. Yeah. And then we, we realized we had to lose the S because it sounded like sauce. Have your merch? just sitting in a briefcase with a yeah. pile of money <laughs> yeah. and there'd be no one ma monitoring it <laughs> you know what? and they would just walk away and it would come back and they would have a bunch of money in their briefcase or their box or whatever it was and you know what we only got robbed once yeah <laughs> like you did it everywhere yeah, oh yeah we did it everywhere all wow, the time not it even was, just Regina no it was pay what you want kind of thing wow. we just left Soul Sound Studio uh, with Orion and now we're on our way to the legislative building so we can check out some of the spots where we filmed uh, in Hell of the Company, the music video. I, I don't know if you guys can see Scott is on the screen there. Scott, he's at home in Kelowna. So this is, this is us hanging out. <laughs> I remember thinking it was kind of weird that we were filming it at all because Illusion and Doubt was already out. And In Hell was on the first record. And our manager at the time wanted us to film that one. Kind of like it's kind of weird because that's an you know older song from a 
you know, should be promoting the new record or whatever. But we just went with it, and fucking good thing we did, because it kind of led to everything, which is awesome. So we filmed half of it here, half of it in Toronto. Yeah, I remember being at Scott's place, we were having a little meeting there, and you bring up the idea, and I was like, that's pretty cool. But you didn't want to do a green screen, which was extra cool. Yeah, glad we didn't do green screen. Yeah, for all of you who think that it's green screen, it ain't. It ain't green screen. Oh, I thought it was pretty awesome when I started seeing the first clips, though, of the changing backgrounds. I got really excited about that. And the uh, whole time we were filming the Banjo Odyssey video, I was very nervous because we were on that flatbed truck and we were getting kicked out of everywhere. <laughs> I remember thinking, just like, oh, man, what are we doing? <laughs> Now we're heading towards the fountain in uh, the infamous fountain. Infamous fountain where we recorded our did some of the video for it helping our company. And we just learned a fun fact about this. This I guess so there's a double a exact double of this fountain in uh, Trafalgar Square, however you pronounce that, in London. Um, because Regina is the Queen City, I guess the Queen sent. Uh, a copy of the statue from Trafalgar Square to Regina. We literally just learned that from, from Orion at the studio there, so it's kind of interesting. So we're gonna go to down by the water here, where there's um, a spot in the video where we're in the lake, and it's Wascana Lake. So that's right here where we're gonna take you down right away. Um, if you do ever swim in Wascana Lake, make sure you get out and shower immediately, <laughs> or you will get the itch. Uh, we're at the University of Regina. This is where we had our release show for the album Good Company, 10 years ago. Come on in, guys. We used to play here a lot. The Owl, everyone. Lazy Owl. Lazy Owl. Right now we're in an alley in Regina somewhere. We're, we're in an alley uh, behind well, Hanlon's Bar, which is uh, one of our favorite pubs growing up, where we played a handful of fantastic shows, and we also did some photo shoots here, and we uh, shot some of In Hell, I'll Be In Good Company here for the music video. This is actually one of the scenes right here, in this beautiful piping, on this gorgeous wall, by this little grease pit over here. I remember Ohans when we first started the band, it was like our goal to play Ohans, right? Yes. And we made it as a band. This was the end goal. Yeah, this is literally <laughs> the end goal. Your eyes never understanding why. Hey guys, right now we are at the plaza here in Regina, downtown Regina, where we also shot a little bit of in hell I'll be the company the music video. But yeah, this is our lovely plaza that has been uh, rejuvenated over the last ten years, I'd say. Maybe a little more. In the winter time, this is a skating rink. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us while we kind of went over a little bit of the 10 year anniversary of In Hell of Being Good Company and the album Good Company. Sorry we lost Scott on you guys. It's crazy to us that it's been 10 years since that album came out, and that album, and specifically the song In Hell of Being Good Company, changed our lives and our careers. So thank you for sticking with us for 10 years, and here's to 10 more. And we just really want to make sure that. Uh, Everyone knows how appreciated they are in all of this. You know, from the people who helped us record this, to our management for helping push it out, our friends, our family, everyone who supported us this entire journey. We could not have done this without you, and you guys 
means the world to us. So thank you so much.